we will call to order the Spring Valley Community Infrastructure District Number One meeting. Uh, can I get a roll call, please? Bond? Present. Here. Here. Okay. If we can stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Man, that was all over the place. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. uh, move to item number four, approval of minutes. Do we hear a motion? Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to approve uh, number four, approval of minutes action item for May 5th, 2022. Motion made by Gindelsberger. I'll second. And a second by Russell. Um, any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Carries. Number five, additions, deletions, or modifications to the agenda. Any additions, modifications, deletions? Do you need to change anything? All right. No. We'll move on to six. Yes. I believe that if, uh, unless we want to handle it under public comment, uh, we have two people from iCrimp here, uh, one retiring and introducing the new contact. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh -oh. This just came up yesterday, so it's not on the uh, agenda. It would be an addition or under public comment, however you want to handle that. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, and I want them to stay here forever because uh, we can't do any additions to it. We'd have to do it under public comment, correct? Because I don't think we can. Well, there's no action item. It's just they're just going to introduce the new person. So I don't really see any harm other than the point. We could put it in the plan. You guys want to just do that right now so they can do the introductions? And we'll do it and get on it. Okay, let's do the introductions right now. And yeah. Then you guys don't have to hang out all night with us. You guys want to come up? We even need this? <laughs> yes, and we need your name and address and everything. Yeah, okay. My name is Shannon Bryson. Uh, I live here in Eagle at uh, 420 East Amanita Street. Uh, just around the corner, and uh, I work at J&K Insurance, and I uh, reached uh, a ripe age enough to be able to retire this coming week, and so part of that process is uh, iCrimp requires us to, uh, if I can't take the book with me, obviously, the business, and so um, I'm going to introduce you to Keith Thurgood, uh, who I've worked with for the last 27 years at J&K Insurance. And he is also, and he'll tell you a little bit about himself, but he is also licensed and appointed with iCrimp. And so it requires that we have you as a board, um, one of you sign uh, a document stating that Keith will now become the acting agent and only agent for your business. Um, I've had the policy through iCrimp um, with Spring Valley uh, since the inception in 2012 and uh, have been the only agent on it since that time, and then Keith would take that over for you. Um, he's got background and experience and for many years also, like I have, and very capable of taking care of it. So that's our purpose of coming in, uh, me to say goodbye, him to say hello, and see if I can get a signature on a document. Right. Are we okay? That's an actual action. We can do just that afterwards, and then we're fine. I'm sorry? That's, that would be considered an action item, or we're good just signing it afterwards, and we're fine? Okay. Okay. Like yep. No. Nope. I think we're good. I just, hey, see why. Okay. I'll let uh, Keith introduce himself okay. then, and then when we get done, I'll bring this to you and have your signature. All right. Thanks. Okay. Sam. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for letting us come. My name's Keith Thurgood. Like Shannon said. Um, Need your my, address too. Yeah, my address is one two three three Northwest Seventh in Meridian, right. and um, I actually own Jane K Insurance with my wife Kathy. And as Shannon indicated, we've worked with iCrimp um, almost since inception. <laughs> but uh, my father was actually a, a, a one of their underwriters with them when they started and um, retired from there. But uh, we do work with some other public entities in Idaho as well. And anyway, we look forward to helping you with what your needs are as they grow. Uh, do you have any questions for me that you'd like to ask? Any questions? No. Okay. Well, thank you. That's Appreciate your time. Yeah.
Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you. And so congratulations much. on retirement. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, as, uh, so next, uh, oh, number six, approval of claims. Action item for April 2022 claims. I have a motion or any issues or discussion? Define the total. You don't need to say the total, huh? Uh, usually. Seven, we don't have two, to. Nine, 11, nine, 30. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion um, to go ahead and approve the April 2022 claims in the amount of eleven thousand two ninety nine and thirty cents. Okay. Motion made by Russell. Second. Second by Gindelsberger. Any discussion? No discussion. Call a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those against? Okay. Uh, passes. Come to new business. Motion, to, or not a motion, but uh, new business. A, so canvas approval election results. Who does that one? Or do we just need to do an approval? Oh, there you go, Pam. Uh, Chairman Mall and, and uh, members of the, of the uh, board, I'm Jeff Pollard, and we have, we have exciting news. We, we approved the uh, bond um, authorization for $600 million by a total of Five votes in favor, none against. Um, so that is uh, a, a big positive. Uh, Therese has drafted some devotional language, which I'm happy to read uh, for you all. We, the board of the Spring Valley Community Infrastructure District Number One, hereby accept the May 17, 2022 county vote prepared and accepted by Ada County, including a full and unanimous vote to approve general obligation bonds of the district in a principal amount not to exceed $600 million. Somebody want to make the motion for that? Can you just say as stated? Make a motion as stated. Okay. We'll do that. Mr. Chairman, I'll make a motion to approve uh, 7A action item, motion to canvas and approve election results as stated by Pam. Okay, motion made by Gendelsberger. Second. Second by Russell. Any discussion? No, no discussion. Uh, Chairman, one thing is just to note for the public record since we're being recorded is that we also have the copies of the county commissioner's canvassing of the votes and the, their approval of the votes too. So we so it's on the record that do we need to make a motion or we just have to no, put it no, on the that, record that we have it? That's just on okay. the record that they, you have copies of that. Okay. Uh, so with that one, no discussion. All in favor, say aye. 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 Against. Okay. Ayes have it. Motion passes. Um, before we go on to action item seven B, um, Sharice was wondering if you could do short, basically for we've had some questions just from the public relative to the voting process for the CID relative to who can and can't vote, specifically. Uh, yeah, I didn't realize I didn't have a mic. I apologize. No. Um, yes, I received a message from the mayor. And really, I think I was just thinking about this. I'd like to work with Pam, because since she's a district manager, I know the city has an involvement, but I hate to suck up city time. We should work on a public records process where I think it should just go straight to Pam, as opposed to clogging up city staff. But I'll defer to the mayor and how he wants to handle it and you guys, but since we've all tried to kind of separate the city mm -hmm. on district activities, it seems most kosher that we're not having, you know, a three-way conversation before it gets somewhere. Because I actually haven't seen the question or the request, but as you put it, it's who can vote. Correct. And uh, Ms. Bonnie, the bond attorney you guys all met in our office, she's the one that did the primary research on it. But her and I have discussed it uh, quite a bit, and there is a case on it. Uh, it's, it's a very oddly written statute. Um, we couldn't find anything that is comparable. But basically, it is residents of the district, owners of the district, 
so long as the owners either reside within the district or within the county to which the district sits in. So that would make it that Mr. Coles was not eligible to vote. Um, we did have the five votes, but it's, it's weird uh, that it, but if you're long as so long as the property owner, which with M3 that they were able to do that. Um, but they did end up kicking Tate, Mark Tate's vote because he wasn't a ownership proprietary interest. But uh, yes, it's so the, does that make sense? So yep. it's residents in the district, mm -hmm. like so renters or whomever and or owners and then owners within the county it sits in. So I was going to say, Mr. Mayor, never mind. Um, <laughs> Uh, so on that one, so relative to that, so if you are a owner within that, you still have to live within the district? No. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, you could be, as long as you reside within the county and you're an owner. Um, you still have to reside in the county? Yes. Okay, that's good. Yeah. All right. No, that was just, like I said, it was a question more just for public information is all. Oh, okay. And that'd be, um, actually bring up with Pam, that may be one thing if we can put it like on the, the website, on the CID, like... CID 101, yeah, I'll, we have the page. Pam can check. I can't remember if Stephanie wrote out an email or I did, but if not, I'm more than happy to kind of give some language that Pam could pass on to IT to put on the website of okay. question, here's the statute, and here is, you know, who can and cannot vote. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So, action item 7B, discussion of district contracts already bid and further procurement of services. Pam, is this you? Yep. Yes, this is me, and, and uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Chairman and member of the board, on this item, we're actually going to table until the next meeting. Um, I left it on there just so I could I could say that the reason why we're going to is uh, we started conversations with the developer. There are a number of different instances that we need to go through and develop uh, plan, you know, procedures for what's going to go before the board what you know different people have authority to do they're putting together a matrix and mr chairman we plan to set up a meeting with you between now and the next board meeting to kind of run through some of our ideas and what we're proposing and then conceptually if you're okay with that then we'll bring that before the board that matrix for approval and and talk to the other members of the board at that time and, and seek approval for the matrix but uh, I don't want to bring this up now and have kind of a halfway approach that you know doesn't work with the other um, ideas that we have. All right, that works. So do I have a motion to table this? Or do we need to make a motion for that? Let's just put it on the record and we'll... Yep. <laughs> Can we, do you want to make a motion to table it or just we're good? We're just going to talk about it. Okay. Okay, so with that one, we'll just uh, 7B, we'll table until uh, meeting in June. Uh, with that one, we'll go to eight reports, board report. Pam, is that you or? Uh, I've got the manager's report, and I don't have anything at this time. I'll okay. go through the financial report in a minute. Okay, so we don't have a board. No, I'm not, I guess we're the board. You guys got a report? <laughs> no, no, okay. No. Uh, district manager, nothing. Uh, district engineer report? I would say we don't have a district engineer report. District attorney report? No, no district attorney report. Financials report. And Pam, you're up. Well, financials report. You have a, um, a copy of the financial report that you Um, at the end of the period, $7,314 for April. We have since received a check from the developer, so that is back up. But at the beginning of the period, it was $19,611. Um, and then here to date, $7,314. So uh, we, we are back up at this point. I don't know exactly what the dollar amount is as, as of today, but at the end of April, um, that was our balance. So. Okay, any questions on the financials or the reports? No. Nope. All right, with that one, now, now we'll move officially to public comment. I just got to read this thing. Uh, this, is the time, uh, this time is reserved for the public to address the CID board regarding concerns or comments they would like to provide by the board regarding subjects not on the agenda. 
At times, the board may see comments and opinions regarding specific CID matters during the allotted time. This is not time to slot given for formal testimony on public hearing matter or comment on pending application or proposal. Out of courtesy for all those who wish to speak, the board requests each speaker limit their comments to three minutes. Is there anyone that would like to do public comments? All right, there's no public comments. With that one, we'll move on to 10. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? Mr. Chair, motion to adjourn. Okay, a motion by Russell. Second. Second by Ann Gindelsberger. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, those against? Aye. Ayes have it. We're adjourned. Did um, Nicole talk to you? Yeah. No, no. 